subscriber I want to say hello and welcome back thank you so much for your subscription for your time for your energy for your prayers and your thoughts as well as encouragement give this video a thumbs up share it with everyone you know and then let everybody know what we're doing over here on this channel because we're doing big things on this channel listen I want to officially open this video up with a few shout outs because that's what I said I would do and we do have make make mukbang she was also in the other comment section in my other video about the secret i did ask you to comment down below if i'm incorrect please say it in the in the comment section below what was the proper video i think it was the secret video but comment down below uh, what video that was just to help me stay on the same page and then also i wanted to shout out again make make mukbang is representing uh, Detroit all right Detroit's in the house uh, Sandra is Meredy is representing Louisiana and Emily is representing Emily Doily is representing South Carolina and we also have Limitless by Lanier and she is representing Tennessee now I do want to officially say this because I am so forever grateful to this person and she is definitely last but not least but I wanted to say uh, uh, talk about her channel for a little bit and then I'm going to get into today's discussion please don't mind my little air freshener that's on my review mirror <laughs> that's going to be doing a slight cameo <laughs> in this video but I do want to definitely shout out promo STK let me tell you take some time and go check her channel out Shayla and Frank. I think I might be saying her name incorrectly, but it's Promo STK. She's definitely on YouTube. She invested such a wealth of knowledge in me yesterday. You will never begin to know how much that meant to me. And I, I, I will forever be grateful for you taking that time to invest in me. So I want to shout you out. This is not the end. This is just the beginning for our relationship. I want to thank you again. And uh, you guys just go over there and just let her, send her some love from the Sila channel. Let her know that Sila sent you over there. And uh, check her out. You guys want to have some recipes, some healthy recipes, and have a good laugh and some challenges. They are a super funny couple. You will be very, very comfortable on that channel. I have to close that because I was getting washed out, but you're gonna be very comfortable there as well on that channel. I also want to shout out our leaders, Bishop C.A. Gibson and Co-Pastor Gibson. I wanna shout you out too, because I wouldn't be the person that I am today if you didn't do what you did inside of me, which was invest realness, word, faith, and belief and so I want to thank you for supporting me and trusting me definitely want to shout out to <laughs> I'm not gonna get started on the shout outs because I will be here all day I want to shout out all of you great people of God every last one of you that is affiliates and associates and subscribers and new subscribers with the c Live channel so today yes today is Forgiving Friday. I want to talk to you today about forgiveness. You know, it is one of the most difficult things to do for some and then a little challenging for others and then just something that is totally obsolete for somebody else. I want to tell you that it is forgiveness and I did tell you I was going to take you with me as I'm driving. So if you do see me looking around, I'm just safely driving this car uh, today on this Good Friday. But uh, forgiveness can be a challenge. I'm going to share just a little story time with you uh, really quickly. 
Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and just get out of your hair and just upload this video on Forgiving Friday. Uh, first of all, foremost, I want you to think about somebody that has uh, just either offended you or has hurt you. And then I want you to think about how you felt with that. If that's something that's just recently happened. And sometimes some of these pains are so deep, we need... Uh, professional help to help us with this and, and, and I'm not by any means necessary saying I'm going to give you advice as to what to do but I'm just saying when you know what that pain feels like and it's fresh it is something that is very hard to erase and uh, we look at the relationship that we have with Christ we did offensive things and you'll hear me say this in the other videos we did offensive things and he forgave us but i was asking you to think about the person that offended you or that hurt your feelings or something like that and it's something that you probably hold dear to your heart and you probably said that you would never forgive them ever again because of the pain that was inflicted upon your heart and that those are really strong words to say trust me i have said it before and and i felt that i meant it at the time but as i continue to grow and I get older, I'm realizing that uh, moments are fleeting. And as moments are fleeting, time is uh, passing. That's what that means. Moments are fleeting. Time is passing. Time is going fast. And I want to be found releasing them. I am the one that is holding them in my heart and in my mind in a prison. And it's not, I'm not telling you to do this. I'm just saying it's not something that's easy to do but it can be done. I have had someone and, and to offend me, to hurt my feelings, and, and yes, I was deeply hurt, and I had to release that, and it did take time for me to release it, and as I released it, um, I can't tell you that I'm skipping through the pansies, <laughs> but I just go back and I remember what happened. And so what we have to do is we have to make a conscious effort to remember what happened, but to not to live, not to live, in that moment because you will forever be stuck in that moment and you can't advance and you can't grow because that moment is holding you captive like a prisoner and so uh, I, I wanted to just come in and share that with you there is a familiar scripture and if you found it I'm gonna play a little trivia with you if you can find it I want you to comment down below and then again thumbs up this video and subscribe and tell everyone you know uh, what we're doing on this channel but I want you because then we'll see what we can do We'll see. I, I like games uh, with you all. I like the communication with you all as well. But I want you to comment down below where and what book in the Bible did this story come from. So there were two brothers, and I've shared with you about these brothers before, but these two brothers, see, I'm giving you a hint. There are two brothers uh, that had, uh, I apologize, two brothers that were having a dispute, and the dispute went on for, for a quite lengthy amount of time all the way into their adult life and as it went into their adult life uh, the brothers were married had their wives and they had children and there was still division the parents had passed away there was still division and the brother did not forgive the other brother because of what he did and the brother was so afraid to go to his brother I'm not telling you the name because I want you to comment down below and tell me what's his name and then tell me what book of the Bible am I talking about but he didn't want to go to the brother so he continued sending his he sent the camels he sent the servants and then he sent his wife really he sent the wives the concubines and then the children seriously husband and then he finally came but he wanted to send them first to see if his brother was going to hurt or harm him what's the point the point I'm getting at is that forgiveness was sown inside of him and he turned around and he sold it inside someone else. So what am I getting at? When you aren't forgiving someone, I'm sure there's someone you've said or confided into about someone else who hurt you and there's a, there's a seed. So it doesn't mean that you can't bend. It's just saying when we deal and we brew and we stew in unforgiveness, there's several seeds. Unforgiveness goes on with bitterness and anger and malice and several other things deal in unforgiveness. Listen, do not allow these people, these things, or these events to keep you hostage in your way and at your time and on your pace. Release these people because today is 
forgiving Friday. So that doesn't mean you have to get on the phone or text them and tell them that you've forgiven them, but you can do it on the inside. And then you, some people are meant to be in your life for seasons, that's it. That was just a season, okay, it's over. The season is over and it's okay. And then there are some people that are people that are to be in your life forever and we are to be in their lives forever. So if this is you, I'm not going to ask you to comment down below and tell me it's you. I just want you to just take a little time right now and then reflect on that. If you are the person that you know needs forgiveness, then uh, you can pray right now for forgiveness. And if it's you and you know you're the one that needs to forgive, then you can pray right now again. That's the answer, prayer and to to render forgiveness so as i get ready to wrap this video up this is just a little sweet little nugget i wanted to give to you on forgiving friday i'm going to go ahead and um can't really close my eyes right now to pray but i'm going to just render a, a word of prayer if you would bow your head with me and you can close your eyes if you are at a spot that you can close your eyes if you're behind the wheel don't do it <laughs> but uh if you can close your eyes We'll go to prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for an amazing Friday. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for life, and we thank you for health and strength. And we ask and pray, Father God, that you would create in us a clean heart and to renew within us the right spirit. Father God, I ask and pray that you would help these that are watching, those that are sharing this video, those that are not sharing this video, those that are hearing this video, whether they're at work, at play, in the car, running errands, I pray, Father, for the spirit of forgiveness to come into their hearts and to come into their being, Lord God, to help them release their prisoners as you have released us because you have sent your son to forgive us. Your word tells us that he came to forgive and not to condemn. So, Father, I ask even the areas that hurt, that we we need professional help with. I ask and pray that we would be receptive to receive the professional help that we need and to not be ashamed of needing help because we all need help. Now, Lord God, I want to thank you for an amazing Friday. I want to thank you for your forgiveness, your mercy, and your grace. And I want to thank you for friendships. So with that being said, I thank you and I honor you and I pray this prayer in your son, Jesus Christ's name. And I thank you for hearing me in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, if you pray that prayer, I believe that he heard us. And if you've stood in agreement with me, I believe that he heard you. All right, so with that being said, happy Friday. Happy Forgiving Friday. Forgive someone, you can do it in your heart. And I want you to think about forgiveness and how good it feels when you know that you are truly forgiven. Remember to thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, and tell. If my hand wasn't on the steering wheel, I would do it. Tell everyone you know, because we're doing big things on this channel. I want to thank you to everybody that is supporting me, everybody that is praying for me, every one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And guess what? The best is yet to come. Thank you again, and see